continuing with our empathy videos the next one is about uh, change your words so should i change my words uh, what do you mean are there like certain words i shouldn't be using or i should be using to express empathy yes definitely many times especially in couple sessions I see and I witness couples that are using words that it would have been preferable that weren't used. You know, whereas once we uh, give them the exercises and I teach them what words to use, what words not to use, they report a greater sense of intimacy and much better, healthier communication. So about change your words. Sometimes when someone is trying their best like to connect to you, to share with you like what's going on with them and they might be complaining or they might be really upset and then you find yourself maybe telling them, oh, everything happens for a reason, uh, don't worry, uh, it's, it's a blessing in disguise, you know. So in reality, my friends, those responses aren't really healthy and they're, they aren't helpful really. So they can even diminish uh, how the other person feels. So changing your words rather to acknowledge their pain, their hurt, their upset, their anger, their fear with uh, phrases like, and notice the face of course, like that really sounds very hard. I'm, I'm really feeling with you, I'm feeling your anger, I can see it also on your face. So validate, validate their feelings, acknowledgement and, um, and for example, I am, I am really sorry that you are going through that, for example. It's not that you are pitying them, you know, some people ask me, wouldn't this be like pity? No, it's like feeling with them, it's holding space. You know, it's not pitying them whatsoever. And um, remember that um, offering solutions or advice uh, would be very tricky, like unless you are asked. And if you are in a relationship and you directly uh, try to take the uh, therapist role and uh, offer advice, no, don't do that. Like even myself as a therapist, I always ask, uh, guiding questions and I uh, uh, sort of guide you know the person to find their own answers and I always tell them the answers are within you you are divinely intelligent it's just that when we are afraid or anxious we stop seeing things clearly so once we do the exercises of centering in our heart and grounding all the answers all the solutions are there you might not really get them just like that you know it might take some processing yet every person deserves to know their own answers at their own speed at their own rhythm so let's kindly respect that um so showing empathy of often means having to say nothing at all so i really hope this uh, helps and I will share with you also sentences and further examples for your uh, daily use and remember with yourself first right so we deserve also our own empathy thank you